Hello everyone, my name is Jack and welcome to another English lesson here at Zolotella. I will begin today with a question. And my question for you is this. Vietnam. I will repeat. Vietnam. Don't worry if you did not understand that question. I will explain what that question was very soon. Now, if you have been learning English for a period of time, you will certainly know that in English, when we speak, we like to say one sentence, even if it's very long, as one word. It's not so much pen, pineapple, apple, pen, as pen, pineapple, apple, pen. Okay? That's how we talk. And this, of course, is more important for your listening. For your listening. When I teach pronunciation, I like to separate what I call active pronunciation, what you need to say, and passive pronunciation. What you don't need to say, but you do need to understand. Now, some of the things we will talk about today are active pronunciation. You will not sound natural in English if you don't use some contractions. However, some of the others you don't need to say, but again, it is very important. You do need to understand. So, one of the first things you learnt in English was how to answer um, what is your name, how to introduce yourself. And you learned one of two phrases, my name is Jack or I am Jack. And you learned then that I'm means I am. Two words together. Okay? Am becomes m. So I am, I'm. Okay? And it's the same for you are, your, and he is, his. And then when you learnt more tenses, you learnt Present perfect. I know it's terrible. I apologise that we have such a tense. You learnt has, which is also, so he has also becomes his. And also have, I have, becomes I've. Then, as you learnt more English, you learnt the past perfect. Again, I'm sorry for this tense. But I had eaten becomes I'd eaten. Notice there is a pattern here. Generally, all of these words, we delete um, everything but the last two letters, sometimes just the last letter. Yeah? So, has, z, have, z, uh, sorry, have, v, had, d. H-A, bye-bye, H-A, bye-bye, H-A, bye-bye. Okay? Now, perhaps you can say, not I have eaten, but I've eaten. And that's good. That's great. That is the active pronunciation. We, we never, never, never say, I have eaten. It sounds very, very formal. You sound like if Jane Austen were to meet the Queen. Yeah, it's quite old. But what maybe you don't know is that in almost all occasions when we use these words, they become the contraction. Almost all, there is one exception. So, he will go becomes he'll go. You know this, okay? But will he go, the question, will also usually be pronounced, will he go? You don't need to say this one, but you do need to hear it. And the simple way to learn this is just every time you read a text and you see will, 
you don't read will, you read it ul. Every time you read has, it's uz. Every time is, again, is. Every time. Is he going? Is he going? It will sound, I'm sure now this sounds insane, and English often is insane. Okay? So is Russian, but English more. Okay? But I promise, with time, and if you practice saying it, your ear will naturally um, get used to this sound pattern here. Okay? And another example, are you hungry? Yeah? We don't say it like that. We say, are you hungry? But, one extra point. Remember, in questions, you becomes you. Now, this is important too. So, it's not, are you hungry? It's, uh, it's are you hungry? Are you hungry? Okay? Again, this is difficult, but with practice and reading uh, and saying these words like this, soon you will hear it. I promise. Which then brings us back to the first question, which I said. And it was this one. Have you eaten yet? Okay. Have, as you know, almost always just v. You in a question, we do not stress. It becomes y. So have you eaten becomes v eaten, v you eaten. Okay? But we also usually don't pronounce t when we talk fast. So it becomes v you eaten yeah without the t here and without the t here v you eaten yeah or as i said at the beginning v eaten yeah as one word okay this unfortunately is english remember you do not have to talk like this but you do have to hear it remember every time you see the word have v every time okay Except one time. When it's the last word of a sentence. For example, Vignya, yes I have, full stop. Okay? We do not use the contractions at the end of a sentence. Everywhere else, but if it's the end of a sentence, we do not. So, Vignya, I hope you have. And remember, I promise, if you practice this, every time that you read will, it's all. Every time you read is, it's is. You will have mastered them soon. You will have mastered them soon. Thank you very much.